yeah greetings of the day my dear students i hope all of you doing great so along with me tathagata de okay he is a final year students from computer science background okay from kolkata government college yeah. and uh, he secured all india 21 okay in the fourth year itself so now we are going to begin the topper talk along with him so we'll see like uh, how was his journey okay in the preparation and uh, what kind of strategy plans he followed okay and uh, he is our two year classroom course okay student in the may is okay so tatagata welcome to you so just let us know like uh, when you started your preparation in which year okay you started the preparation so first of all let me just uh, thank you for coming for this interview like it's an honor for me uh, to be able to be able to talk to you and uh, secondly i started my preparation in 2020 uh, from adc itself i was enrolled in uh, kolkata adc uh, okay. classroom student okay so actually you enrolled for offline classes right yeah but yeah, uh, unfortunately so... the pandemic hit and we couldn't really continue in offline okay okay so and later uh, it's yeah i was able to attend uh, nearly 3 months okay okay three months you attended offline yeah so later then it shifted to online yeah and then again for one month in 2021 in nearly april when it continued offline classes okay. and then again turned to online okay okay fine so in which year you started preparation in third year or in the fourth year no in the third year the third year itself okay very good very good so how did you experience like uh, how is the uh, online coaching did you find it is comfortable right so how was the experience in the online mode well, because uh, on... you you attended almost 3 uh, months in the offline and uh, later shifted to online so how was your experience well both of them had different pros and cons like in mm-hmm. offline uh, when you are just following the pace of the institution and you are attending classes with everyone there is an environment around you to like compete and uh, study hard for the whole day but it's hectic for the weekend mm-hmm. it's really hectic mm-hmm. and uh, tough at least uh, at the night of the saturday but on the other hand the online has different pros and cons like you have you can arrange your uh, self pace and you can uh, watch videos whenever you want to uh, really can uh, arrange your time schedule accordingly but you have mm-hmm. to keep on your motivation mm-hmm. because you are alone in the race you are not mm-hmm. really in touch with anyone So yes, you yes. don't have the environment at home. So yes, uh, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Dear students, uh, this is really important factor. Okay, you should remember right uh, in the online coaching because you are at a home. Okay, so you don't have any friends uh, around you surrounding. So you should have a proper motivation and dedication. Okay, so that is really required. Okay, when you are doing the online course. Okay, fine. so as tata gata saying every everything every mode is having its own uh, pros and cons so that's fine okay so now tata gata tell me like uh, i mean uh, how did you experience like uh, our online classes uh, okay so will they really i mean uh, up to the park okay so how was the teaching style of the faculty did you experience any difference in online offline no sir not at all definitely it's nearly same because uh, mm-hmm. there is uh, the subject computer organization and architecture i studied it in both offline and online so okay. i know i know that it's it's actually the same uh, mm-hmm. you just don't have the students and environment around you otherwise it's nearly same nearly and same definitely okay. the content delivered is uh, uh, the best probably available around the market of gate examination so there's no other i believe that uh, in no anywhere else i don't have that much of uh, resources available so maybe it is definitely the best okay 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 so dear students like i want to convey one important thing okay so we at medizi in the online coaching especially in online mode we deliver the content okay to the point what is actually required and we believe like a students time is really very important okay so we deal okay in the same manner what we deal in the offline coaching so of course okay the time okay obviously like 10 to 15% it requires extra time in online mode so because of the delay or maybe because of our students are taking the notes and uh, okay not following the same pace uh, okay what the teacher is teaching but otherwise uh, okay so we don't waste your time and uh, the content delivered is up to the mark and everything is a uh, proper just like equal to the offline classes okay so tata kada like uh, okay what is the test series uh, okay when you have joined and how many tests you have given uh, i joined in nearly uh, september or october 
and I started mm -hmm. uh, uh, sitting for the test from the end of October, like full, full length test uh, mm -hmm. from the end of October. And mm -hmm. uh, I nearly attempted all the full length tests available there. Although I mm -hmm. may not have completed the con all the conceptual and subject wise tests, but mm -hmm. uh, definitely the quality of test series is no doubt the best. Uh, mm -hmm. The questions given when when like the uh, full length test arranged in an order, like from the first test is nearly the basic level and with each test going on the uh, questions uh, more or less upgrade to the higher side. And so it, it helps you uh, in approaching the more advanced uh, uh, ideas of the, and the concepts of gate. So uh, definitely it's very helpful. Okay, okay. So you will say like test series is really important and everyone has to go through that. Okay. Exactly. Okay. The, okay. Sitting for the full length test also allows me to really judge my preparation, like where I'm missing the marks and from which part I'm, I really uh, couldn't grab the mark in this test on the next day, so I can follow that part and uh, carry on those progress. So it's really necessary in the preparation. Okay, okay. So most of your juniors, uh, okay, maybe watching this video, okay, in the YouTube. So what is your suggestion to them? Like uh, when uh, when you suggest to start the preparation? Well, uh, if you have a very good background uh, in BK, uh, you can also score good marks uh, even after starting in fourth year. But uh, mm -hmm. starting in third year can also give you a handover advantage of better time management and all. So it's up to you. But anything is possible if uh, someone works really hard. Okay. 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 So hard work is important. <laughs> okay. Fine. So that's really good. Okay. And um, like, what was your motivation when you are at a home? Like uh, you are studying only alone. Okay, sitting in a small room. Okay, in your room, right? So what was your motivation, okay, at that time? Generally, the students will get distracted, okay? So I'm just asking as a common question, right? Everyone who is sitting in a room, single room, and uh, almost two years you are in the same room, right? Okay, not even stepping out. So what was your motivation at that time? Generally, students will easily get distracted and they get frustrated also. What was your motivation at that time? Well, after starting a few months, like after one or two months, I felt that that there are times when I'm getting distracted or, or I'm not really having that much of momentum in study. So I, if, if I hope I could show you that uh, the wall in front of my study table is all already decorated with pictures from ISC, IITB and all. And, uh, yes, and I, I have a picture of uh, the ITP convocation with that address and uh, uh, nice, all. Nice. So these are the motivation factors. And also I have prepared with a group of friends also rank pretty good in I mean in two digits so that also helps me in the motivation like when I'm having a low momentum I can see them excel I can see them scoring good marks in like some topic wise or subject test and that gives me motivation that I haven't studied really well for the last one or two days and seeing him or her score really good so that gives me another level of uh, uh, competition so that helps as well excellent excellent so uh, juniors or uh, your friends okay so i'm suggesting okay your friend is uh, keeping the pictures of iit bombay convocation and other big organizations so so that uh, okay made him motivation okay right so fine that's really good and um, what is the strategy you followed in the exam so any strategy like uh, okay which questions attempted first or one more questions or two more questions any strategy you followed in the gate exam I didn't really have any strategy for one mark or two mark separation. I was nearly uh, ready and I have covered all the subjects. So I was confident that I could answer. But as uh, in, we know that this year's questions were, was a bit different from previous years, a bit lengthy and all. So when I started and after five or six questions, I felt that, that this is different. So I changed my plan to totally defensive. Like, let me just skip all the questions that I'm not confident at first. And mm -hmm. that helped me as well because I uh, had uh, zero negative marks in gate examination. So excellent, that's... excellent. Zero negative marks. That's really good. Okay, that's really good. Congratulations. Really, that's I mean, very tough. Even all India first rank students will also have at least, uh, okay, some negative marks. So you're saying zero negative marks, it means like 100% accuracy. Even I also say, okay, in the class, always like a speed and accuracy, really, really important. So getting zero negative marks, that is really inspiring. Okay, nice, nice. Okay. okay, fine. What is your future plan, sir? Where you are planning to study next? IIT Bombay or ISC Bangalore? Any well, plans? Uh, I do plan, but I'm still a bit confused. Although I would uh, I'd be more interested in IITB, but there is a still a soft corner for IIC. I'm still in the phase of decision making. 
Okay. Mostly IIT B maybe. Okay. Okay. Fine. So you are planning for placement, or you are planning for further uh, research or further studies or anything? Any idea? Uh, for now, I am planning for placement, but maybe later in my career, I may move towards research and all. But for now, I just want to focus on placement. Okay. Okay. Fine. So, any strategy for the test series, sir? Okay, especially like, uh, okay, how to follow the test series, sir? Okay, first, uh, whether to complete the subject wise or full length or mock test, uh, when to start the sub, I mean, test series, like once uh, all the preparation is completed, is it advisable to start the test series? Or once one subject is completed, okay, it's advisable to start the test series. What is your well, idea? I use the test series in between the preparation of my subject, like when I'm studying a subject, say, operating system. I have completed mm. half of the syllabus and I uh, used to attempt a topic wise test and all. So I could really see what my flaws and gaps are. And uh, like so read half of the subject and one topic wise, read another half, another topic wise in a subject wise test. And this was my preparation strategy. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and all. And, and then again a revision phase and then again another subject test. So uh, this really worked for all the subjects for me. But uh, uh, one thing I would like to uh, advise my juniors and all that uh, I think that uh, starting the full length mock test a bit earlier, like I completed all the subjects, then had a revision phase of all the subjects, then started the full length, but that wasn't really needed. I said that starting full length test even early is much necessary. So I can judge my gaps, like there are some gaps in the uh, preparation phase where the, I couldn't really score the marks. Like uh, I felt that. Uh, even after completing the digital logic uh, circuit subject, I felt that I couldn't really score from the sequential circuit part. So I felt really mm -hmm. late, like in November. So mm -hmm. uh, starting the full length mock test even earlier could have helped me. I would like to definitely advise those things uh, for the next batch. Okay, okay. So how is a made easy learning experience? Sir? Just a share as that also. <laughs> definitely, sir. Best the content delivered, absolutely best. And even after the the concept uh, uh, we understand the concept there the uh, the teachers help us with the mcqs and all the numericals and the best thing is uh, the teachers uh, not only just solve the mcqs they uh, they make us understand how the concept is uh, lying behind this mcq not really go on the formula or anything just understand mm -hmm. the concept and th that's why you can uh, solve the problem with different approach that's really important mm -hmm. with with, with uh, tricky questions or even lengthy questions that uh, uh, came into this year's question that 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 understanding of like the behind concepts can help so and also uh, as i told you earlier that the, the the resource provided is absolutely best and the, the studying the class notes and all is uh, necessary and uh, sufficient also as i said okay okay so you find like uh, made easy material whatever is provided workbook and test series and theory books and the classroom notes is that sufficient or did you prepare any like uh, any extra resources or any extra study, really. study material not, not really, really. Yeah. the the mcq uh, there are a lot of mcqs like completing all those mcq already takes a lot of time like uh, at first when i received those books i thought that i could finish it easily but not at all not at all. it takes a lot of time and and uh, also the workbook questions were so good that I uh, practiced it uh, twice, actually, I, not all the subjects, but I tried to complete it twice. So, uh, because there are there are questions that are tricky. So, and all, along with like, I uh, counted more, nearly uh, 500 or more questions are present in, in some subjects, uh, compiling all the books. So, it's absolutely best and uh, sufficient, as I said. Okay, okay, fine. That's really good. Okay. So Tathagata, really nice talking to you. Okay, so your preparation, you started in the third year and your motivation, you said, okay, so that's really nice talking to you. And uh, we wish all the best, okay, for the future. Okay, right. If you need any further guidance or anything, okay, in your career also, you can approach us, okay. And uh, many, many congratulations wholeheartedly, right. Being a fourth year, you achieved All India 21st rank. So that's really great, okay, right. So congratulations once again. So. Uh, I mean, uh, last final word to any uh, juniors, if you want to say. Uh, that there is no cheat sheet or anything to score good marks in any competitive exam. It all takes just a few basic things like hard work, dedication, and uh, more or less consistency. That's really important because 
uh, when you are studying, I, I, I know the, the only college part because I have been a college student in the preparation phase. So it mm. takes a lot of distraction. Like uh, when you are preparing, you will see others are making machine learning models or some someone working in web development or getting uh, uh, somewhat higher packages than you or any other projects and all. And if you open a social media platform like, like LinkedIn and all, you will see everyone is doing something. So sometimes it, uh, it uh, really distracts you. Like uh, when you are preparing for a competitive exam, your progress isn't really shown. You are mm. uh, completing the subjects and in doing MCQs and at the end of the day, no one really shows and no one knows what you are doing. Mm. Uh, so you have to keep on telling yourself that you are doing well and there will be a day that there, it is, all this hard work will be measured well. So hope for that day and uh, trust in the system of continuing and consistency. So this will uh, work like this. And try to uh, keep yourself away from that distraction because uh, whatever you are working on definitely will uh, come to success one day. Excellent, amazing words, really, Tathagata. Really, I mean, amazing words. I mean, dear students, okay, when you are doing the preparation, maybe in the third year or fourth year, you will have a lot of distractions because uh, your fellow friends, uh, okay, will be preparing for the placements and they will be preparing for something, okay, like they are doing any machine learning course or any web development course. So, I mean, uh, I mean, a lot of distractions from various sources. Your friend may be getting uh, some placement and uh, you are more, morely focused on the gate exam and you will also get distracted. But remember, okay, you are really focused on the gate, okay? I mean, immediately the result is not shown, okay, after the gate exam, okay, once you get a good rank, and if you go for IIT SEMTEC, okay, or maybe top NIT college SEMTEC, that will different, def I mean, uh, definitely make a differentiation, okay, your friends and uh, your career growth, okay. So, I mean, I always suggest the students, uh, okay, give a best attempt, okay, sincere, okay, dedicated attempt for the gate exam. That is completely different, okay, uh, from whatever the placement you are going to get in your college, okay, right. So, only thing is like, uh, you should not get distracted from your preparation, okay, and you should be very confident, as Tathagata is saying, okay, was very confident, he never get distracted from his, uh, okay, fellow friends, right. So, that is really amazing words, Tathagata, right. So we'll keep in touch, okay, right? So any guidance required from ADZ, you can reach us, okay? Thank you so much. Congratulations once again. All the best for future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you.